Wind has an ace up its sleeve when it comes to energy generation. It is limitlessly available. However, an economic wind park depends on different variables. Firstly, the wind speed is not identical each and every day. Secondly, matters such as electricity price, servicing needs or the availability of service specialists also carry weight. But it is possible to obtain a good overview of all these factors using modern sensors and data analysis. At the Hanover Trade Fair, CF explains in detail how this is possible using the model structure of this new business model. With me now is Dr. Alexander Graf, a founding member of our Internet of Things lab at ZF. Alexander, I'm pretty sure you can explain us our wind power use case in more detail. Yes, sure. So what we are doing today is a combination of two separated worlds. We have on the one side the world of the services that is really cost optimized today. So the reduction of cost leads to planned services. On the other side, we have the efficiency of the windmills yes, that lead to um, at least good revenue of the investors. We believe that in combining both worlds, we could optimize the revenue of the investor. Okay, and how would you do that? So we are using data from our windmill, combining these data together with wind forecast data from stock exchange data and calculating an optimized service point for our windmill. And what would be the benefit of the wind park owner in the end? We think that under all considerations, the revenue of an investor is optimized. He gets more money than today. All right, and that's what Internet of Things can achieve. Increasing income, reducing downtimes and dropping services costs. This can be achieved by uniting powerful mechanic systems with digital competence and electronic expertise. This is how ZF makes industry applications more efficient and smarter.